This is Laborz, and it is so nice to have you here. These are the paints you need. Guys, the moustache is... It's perfect. Look at it. I primed the fire spirit with Valayo Grey Primer and used black for the frost one. And I'm using a 0.2mm airbrush and a size 3 Michelangelo Kolensky brush to paint this. If you don't have an airbrush, just check out my Fire Entity Minions tutorial on how to paint fire without an airbrush, but you can do all these steps with a brush too. First, I cover the bird with white rider red. Papa Labors poured a bit too much thinner to the airbrush tank, so this took a while for me, but the point is you can cover the whole mini with this color. Once it's nice and opaque, I go in with rose rail orange. I cover 90% of the surface with this color. You only need the redness of the flames around the edges of the wings. Fire is the brightest where the hottest. We are going to make that part the head and the chest of the bird. So the end of the wings should be the colder parts. After that, use some bright yellow. I'm using demonic yellow, but any yellow would do. Cover 90% of the orange layer and since we are using an airbrush, we will overspray some of the orange and red areas, but since our coats are very thin, that's perfectly fine. The airbrush really helps us control how opaque we want our layer to be. Now let's us use ice yellow to indicate those really hot parts of the fire. I build up the opacity slowly, layer by layer. You don't want to use too much of this color and cover all of our previous layers. We need those rich yellows and oranges. What we do not need is a huge slap on our tiny hand. Let's get back a bit of yellow on those flames that we are covered with ice yellow. These flames are nicely sculpted, so they have some depth and this yellow will indicate that the sides of the flames are a little bit lower temperature and make it a bit more interesting. Did the same thing for the very end of the wings with Evil Sun Scarlet. This is a bit darker and have a nice coverage. Remember, we only need a tiny bit of this color and only at the end of the wings. These are the coldest part of the fire. Still hot though, so you can bury yourself like Granny Laborz burned herself while she fell asleep with a cigarette in his mouth and uh, her pajama caught on fire. But don't worry, she managed to extinguish the flames. Yes, yeah, she grabbed her uh, left teeth, uh, super floppy, and uh, put out the fire like this. After that, I used pure white to paint the eyes. Really nicely sculpted and big eyes, so it's easy peasy granny's squeezy. Then Papa Laborz increased the opacity of the ice yellow layer aiming for the crevices around the head of the fiery bird. Apply some around the beak and those little explosions on the bottom, but only in the middle of those sphere-like shapes. Now let's go back to those evil sun's red parts and glaze a little bit of black. Super tiny portions and thin layers to indicate where smoke would come from. Lastly, I add some pure white around the head to push the contrast a bit more. Now for the frost spirit, cover all the surface with Night Lord's Blue. Then switch to Aliotic Blue, but like you would do a Zenithal highlight. So the top part should be covered fully, and the side and lower part just receive a smaller portion of that color. Basically we continue the process with Hoel Blue, cover 80% of the previous layer and guys you can do this with a dry brush too, if you don't have an airbrush, just slap the paint on it. Alright, now bring that coldness to that ice with blue horror. I use a thin base layer consistency to pick out all the edges and cover most of the flat surfaces. Follow the shape of the ice shards, you don't need to be super silky and smooth with this color. Ice is not smooth. It's full of imperfections and crackles. It's nothing like Granny's butt cheek. So you can do some tiny dots too on the surface of these icicles. It will look cool. Get it? Cool. <laughs> I 
After that I glaze some Ghost Blaster Green from the middle to the end of these ice shards to add some nice teal hue. It's a bit heavier glaze and you don't need to smooth it out like crazy, just to make it visible and let our blue horror edges stay visible as well. Then I dry brushed some ice yellow. Uh, didn't work out as well as I planned, but it's okay, we're gonna push those edge highlights later. I painted the eyes with ivory with a base layer consistency. Now for the base. But Papa Laborts, you never paint bases. I know, I know, but these little spirits didn't took that much time to paint, so I thought it would be nice. Nothing crazy cork tower action going on here, just some simple and fast bases. So I sketched some stone ties with black. It's just some random pattern you can come up with. Use a base layer consistency and since we are using black, one coat should be enough. Let's use the airbrush again and give these stone ties a faint red hue so it will create an effect that the surroundings are quite hot over these charcoal ties. Very thin consistency and try to aim for the edges of these ties. You don't need many layers, as soon as you see the white rider red on the black, you are good to go. I used rose layer orange between the crackers of these ties. Try to follow the shape with some thicker lines and leave some of the white rider red. Orange usually have a poor coverage, so use multiple layers to make it nice and opaque. After that we use demonic yellow to make that lava effect hot, like it's granny laborts in her 60s. Just do some tiny lines inside the orange layer of the lava. Don't cover all the way or I will slap on your tiny hand. Lastly, we outline the black ties with Evil Sun Scarlet. This will create almost like a 3D effect for them and imitates some depth between the ties and the lava. For the Frost Spirit base, I cover the whole thing with Stirland Mud. Only a thin layer and I move this paste with a brush. If you don't have Stirland Mud, don't worry, just mix a little bit of sand with a brown paint and add a tiny bit of PVA glue to the mixture. Wait for this to dry before moving on to the next step. Then I applied some thin down PVA glue to random areas. In case you didn't know, you can dilute PVA glue with water and it will flow nicely from your brush. PVA glue is basically the same stuff you can get as uh, basing glue, but if you buy it in a home depot store instead of a hobby store it will cost way less. And uh, believe Papa Laborts, uh, it's the same stuff. Now it's time for the snow. This is some army painter snow, it's basically really fine white sand. Apply it over the glued up parts and remove the excess by gently tapping on the bottom of the base. Once our glue dried under the snow, we apply a second layer of glue. This will not only make sure that our snow won't crumble off of our base, but it will push the snow effect as well by making this white sand look more like a white paste. This snow stands out a bit, so let's spray over with some elastic blue glaze to blend it in with the miniature. This is a very thin consistency, we just want to add the bluish hue and uh, not cover the snow with the paint's maximum opacity. <music> Lastly, I went back to those icicles and did some edge highlights with pure white. You don't need to do this all the way on these shapes, it's really about pushing the contrast just a bit more. I use a thin base layer consistency, so it won't be a super white when it dries, but it creates some variety between the blue edge highlights. And that's it guys, the shaman spirits are done, so you don't have to use those cardboard tokens anymore. Thank you for joining me on this little painting adventure. A huge thanks to my patrons who support these kind of videos. With special shout out to Jonathan Rhodes, Cold Valley Dom, Trying to Paint Melees, Jonathan Mosner, Rulezak, Vlad D, Earthapple21, and Paints and Games. If you want to support the work of Papa Laborts, you can do that on Patreon. 
where you will have early access to these videos and you can vote for the next mini. And if you need some extra help, you can have one-on-one -on -one lessons with Papa Laporte as well. I hope the rest of your day will be as smooth as a granny's budget.